Hey everybody, today I'm jumping back into an old game. Well, not really an old game, but semi-old. Yeah, so I played this game back in like October-ish. Thing equals other thing. I can't tell what most of these are. The third one looks like water. It was cool, um, but then I died and you have to restart the whole game over when you die, so I was done with it at that point. This is the Steam release and the game has been updated a bunch since the last time I played it so I figured it would be good to see what's new. Oh, here's a little bit of water. I don't need it. Oh. I don't need it. A very small amount of water, okay. I need it! So it's like a survival game with horror themes. Monsters are gonna come after us eventually. We gotta explore. It's very don't starvey. So you wanna try and get things done fast because the game gets progressively harder the more days you're alive. Monsters start showing up and chasing you and stuff. To like progress you have to build these bridges with wood so you can unlock new areas basically. And you can see my stamina in the bottom there. If that runs out then I have to go to sleep. Stop right there criminal scum! Okay, water acquired. We're gonna run back to base with only 10 stamina left. Hopefully we don't die in that time. I don't know what actually happens if you run a stamina. Does it kill you or do you just go to the next day? Okay, water placed. Bedtime. Cool. Just made it. Could I trouble you for a glass of warm milk? It helps put me to sleep. You could trouble me for a warm glass of shut the hell up. Once I get later in the game, this demon thing will chase me around and it makes it a lot harder to explore. I did not know I could get damaged by deer. I remember coming in here last time. Golden axe. That's the good stuff. Got an achievement for that, okay. This totem thing is unlocked. Dropped a mask. Oh, do I run faster now? Alright, nifty, I move faster. So, uh, that was one of my complaints with the original game, now that I'm faster. Okay. Maybe this was in from the start, or maybe it was added afterwards, but nice addition. Oh no! The monster's here! He's not happy. Oh, he breaks trees for me, which is kind of cool. Yeah, look at all this free wood. I don't even have to use up resources. Well, this certainly helps. Thanks, monster. Oh. Don't shoot- Ah! Don't shoot me! I'm just trying to fix the bridge. Oh no! Dead. I could go three days in a row without resources. Nani? Well, let's uh, let's just try this again with the difficulty where I don't lose everything if I die. So it seems like stamina only stops you from using items. Oh, four meat from that. Okay, that's good stuff. Ice zone is good. Bunch of dead fox mask people. Not good. Shit just got real. Oh, it's not in the stone anymore. Sword acquired. Okay, maybe I did need to like collect five hearts to get the sword. Ah, that's how I heard him. So I gotta reflect these fireballs. Okay, yeah. Even with no stamina, it lets me swing the sword so I can fight him forever. Yes! Victory! Killed him. Oh, we beat the game? You just had to kill him to beat the game? But what about all that extra stuff in the icy area that I didn't get to explore? It was probably extra content, but it was optional. Nice little wrap up. Funny thing is, once I switched to easier difficulty, I didn't die anyways, so it's not like the difficulty made any difference, because it only really applied to you dying. Anyways, The Devil Haunts Me is free on Steam right now. It's got a lot more content than the original itch.io version. I guess I didn't even see it all, so you should go play it yourself if you like this sort of stuff and see what I missed. Okay, see you later, folks.